Hey guys, Czar here. Hope all is well. 11.33, so the Twilight Zone, Europe is just closed. I'm watching for something to happen here, potentially, during the Twilight Zone. I often don't trade during the Twilight Zone, but this has been an interesting, strong rally up here on the Dow. Same thing on the S&P, very strong. And the NASDAQ, super strong. We're up 1.72% on the NASDAQ futures here today. And it looks like a rocket uh, that just continues. This is a lockout rally for me. Bring you back to the Dow. And pause. Yeah, you know what? I've just entered here, guys. I'll just put my, it's not really moving right now, so I'm gonna, I don't mind just showing this to you right now. Right here. Risking 32, trend continuation move. Hard to believe this thing is going to continue. I'm just trusting what the market's telling me here now. That's one R. Target. That's 2R. This is 1.5R. Just trusting the model. Pushing up, new high for the move. Broken now beyond this piece, which is very important. We need to close there. Close beyond, of course. This will be significant resistance. Right there, that's that uh, wick, this rejection wick that you see here on the right hand side in the 30 minute uh, chart. And sure enough, it is rejecting there pretty hard. That's why I say those wicks do matter. But I like the way this feels, so I'm going to stay with it. And I'll put you on pause for now. New high for the move. We have now pushed beyond the top of that wick right there, which is a good thing, but it needs to stay there without rejecting. And that's kind of what we're seeing right now. There's the horizontal line right there. So ideally we get a good proper close beyond the first target there, that one R, just to confirm that prices do want to go higher especially during the twilight zone. The point is that when this wick was issued uh, much earlier at 10.30 or so and now it's 11.40, so you know, one hour and 10 minutes ago or beyond, many of those participants um, are gone, right? They are, are some of those participants may be gone uh, because they're, they were European and they are now done for the day. Of course, some of the European players and global players will trade all day because the futures market is open. But that's not really what we're dealing with. We're dealing with the net of the big market, the mass market, during regular trading hours. Is what we factor into this, this idea of the twilight zone and this meandering motion or movement that we often see during that period. And back on pause. Trying to push up. And there we go, target one is done. So one R has been met. This will be a one R trade, uh, worst case. The one R all or nothing trader has ex exited their entire position now, and they are done for this trade. 
the scale out traders have taken off some of the t uh, off the table here and are leaving some runners for further on those who believe in moving their stops to break even perhaps have done so having hit target one or perhaps they've moved their stop from one R to half an R to cut that risk in half or to a quarter R. There are many different ways to do this. And any of the last few trading videos will discuss that in detail. I also highly recommend watching the video called Mastering Profit Targets and Stops to see what I'm talking about. And the video Mastering Our Values and Our Multiples, another very good one to watch to understand exactly what we're doing here. And those will all be found um, right near this video here today. The last few videos, last few days. And back on pause. New high for the move, looking for target two, one and a half R. Let's see if we can get there. One more little push. Struggling a bit there. I'll just pause you periodically to help you avoid the grind, bring you back. And target two has been met. One and a half R. Let's see if we can get all the way up to target three, which is the two R move. Nice parabolic move here now. And pause. All right, for those who are new, I'm just showing you uh, my the Razor's Edge profit-taking models. There are four of them. Of course, any combination of these will work as well, depending on your style, your nature, your temperament. Using six units, in other words, anything divisible by six, could be 600 shares, 6,000 shares, six shares, six micro contracts, uh, six minis, whatever. The model one trader is all or nothing. They've taken their full profit. That's one hour all or nothing. It could be one and a half all or nothing. Either way, both of those traders have profited fully. They're done for the trade. The model two trader scales out two units at target one, two more units at target two, and they're holding two more units Model 3 has scaled out 3 at target 1, 2 at target 2, and are just holding one more unit now as a runner. And the uh, Model 3 is the opposite of Model 4. Instead of 3, 2, 1, it's 1, 2, 3. In other words, they scaled out 1 unit at target 1, 2 units at target 2, and they're still holding 3, or 1 half of their position, the 6 units. And then, of course, we have the stop loss uh, management models. Traders who sometimes leave their stop in place and never move it from the very beginning to the end of the trade. Other traders will trail the stop to break even and leave it, as I mentioned earlier, leave it right there. And they might choose whether they do that at target one, target two, target three, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Others will tra it, trail the stop to target levels. So once target one is met, they might trail it to break even. If target two is hit, they might move their stop to target one to lock in a sure one R, for instance, and so on and so forth. And the fourth uh, model is to trail the stop to pivot levels. Now, we can, you could say we have one pivot level here. So this trader, after that price pulled back and then advanced beyond this high, would move their stop. It's basically break even, but underneath that pivot there. There are no other pivots in this uh, trade. Some traders will consider this a pivot because it was a, a blue candle. They might move their stop up to there. We are potentially forming another pivot here, or this thing could come all the way back to the original stop. If it advances beyond the top, it's a new pivot. The trader might move their stop to that level there. Those are the various models. Put you back on pause. And so again, those who are relatively new, the way I'm tracking my trades now after, I don't know, 650 videos of showing you what I'm doing in my account uh, is to not show that anymore and to show you what these various models are doing in these open live trades. And uh, you can decide where you fit in 
it with any number of these models or var uh, variations on them. Of course, this is just a way to think about things in four different ways. It's really more than four. Of course, there are the four profit-taking models, but combined with any one of these uh, stop-loss management models as well. So the world is your oyster in terms of what works for your own nature, temperament, personality, risk aversion, etc., etc. The trading, uh, the, the trade video ends when either my third target, my ex most extreme target is hit, or the original stop. And then the result will be how far we reached uh, in terms of targets. Because if you are an all or nothing 150 or 1R or 2R trader, you benefited fully from that. Hopefully that makes sense. And pause. All right, guys, quite a few minutes have passed, of course, and you can see we're just grinding around here into a, a, a contracting pattern. Sideways grind, typical twilight zone behavior. It's 12-12 right now, so we are very much in the lunch hour. And this is why I typically go for a five-mile walk or a workout, or get some chores done during the twilight zone for this very reason. But I'm in this trade. This trade has already uh, benefited or succeeded to the, the extent of, of 1.5R. Hit our target two, hit my target two. We're still seeking target three, which would be two R, but uh, time will tell. This is the one minute chart on the right hand side. I'm gonna drop that to the two minute chart so that we can reduce the number of messy candles that we're looking at. There it is, cleaner. And let's move over to the three minute now. There we go, that's even cleaner. I'm gonna leave it there. I have to keep my charts nice and clean if I can. And back on pause. Well, we did get a new high for the move. Let's see if we can finish this thing off. Looking for one more push here, guys. See if we can get this thing. One more. I know it wants to. I think it's gonna happen. Not right now. <laughs> okay, back on pause. Just one more sip of caffeine should do it. And sip, sip. <laughs> it's not helping, is it? Maybe I'm jinxing it. Come on. And there it is. 2R, guys. Nice 2R win after a 1R loss this morning. Second trade of the day. It is 12.22, Twilight Zone. This is when I can go for a workout, finally. And it's 64-point winner. Thanks for being here. Appreciate you all. That means, by the way, that all the models... Uh, profit-taking models benefited fully uh, based on their model, whatever that model might have been, benefit fully. Thanks for being here. Take care, guys. Talk soon.